show day and oh, it's early, it's only about quarter to six and I'm out for a beautiful walk with Jeff. We've been walking for about half an hour now and oh it's just stunning. It's just Jeff, myself, the cacophony of noise from the dawn chorus, a few deer, pheasants and a cockerel crowing in the background. I've always known that I want to live in the countryside and this this little weekend is really oh, I just feel alive I love it I've been woken up this morning at 4.30 by a cockerel well I was already awake but oh, that's a thing dream, things that dreams are made of for me conversation with Nick. He knows this is my idea of heaven. Just me and the boy on a country lane. Oh, if I never came across a shop or saw. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it really is lovely. This is just what I needed. I didn't sleep well. I never do before any event, be that our retreats, be that a show. I'm just watching here, there's about four deer just grazing in the distance there. Yeah, I never sleep before events. I wake up every couple of hours and something's running through your mind if you've remembered this or forgotten that, you know? And um, yeah, so I didn't sleep well. The bed was incredibly comfortable. Oh, it was lovely. Everything in the accommodation is to the highest standard. You know, every brand is has been considered and purchased thoughtfully and yeah, it's beautiful. The pillows, they were amazing. And the bed, the mattress, again, beautiful to sleep on. But my mind's just too busy. So I yeah, I didn't sleep well. But my goodness, it's good to be alive this morning. day one rather of the show Saturday it's 20 past seven we're here in the Yarnmobile we're about 10 minutes early before we can set up but as we left it yesterday as you saw we haven't got any wool on the wall yet <laughs> we have never done a show where we haven't got wool on the wall <laughs> the morning of so I'm feeling not anxious but a little bit nervous we do have a plan um I said yesterday that we um we mapped out our shop at HQ to correlate with our uh, stall here. So we know exactly what goes on what shelf next to what. It's all bundled together. It's all been done really meticulously, methodically. So we're hopeful that the setup this morning, well, it can't take more than three hours because hopefully there'll be customers in three hours. <laughs> but we've got three hours anyway. So, um, yeah. There'll be no more chatting. It will just be, I'm going to stick a time lapse on it. It's just going to be a video montage. And then when we're finished, I'll do you a little ta-da. And that will be it. And then through the day, I suspect today I won't get to go and walk around the other stalls because it's generally Saturdays are much busier. Um, but tomorrow I will. 
I'll go and have a walk around tomorrow. And Nick's gonna film little snippets through the day, aren't you? If we mm. sit, oh, he's not. Not of you, I just mean in general. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I see any famous podcasters, I will film them. Because I know Ali, Little Drops of Wonderful's coming. Davina, Little Workroom Crafts is coming. That's tomorrow. So if I spot any celebs, I'll get them. <laughs> we'll turn the cameras on them, eh? And we'll like, ta-da! <laughs> They're always behind the camera, so we'll get them on the camera. What do you reckon? Right, I'm going to go. Um, we'll see you later. This is our East Anglia Yarn Festival 2023 stand. We've got our bargain basket there, some top tubes, some scrappy bits. We've got all the samples. We've got a whole wall of silky yak DK. Tons and tons of DK yarn. All the fluff. And then a giant wall of yarn. We've got all our pick and mix minis with us. So all 130 colours. And then we're finishing with our yak sock. We love it, we're so proud. So we've just about finished for the day at East Anglia. It's been fantastic. It's we have said yesterday I think we haven't done a yard show for three years, three and a half years. And oh it's been lovely just to meet people that are all as excited about yarn and um, fibre crafts as we are is just lovely and to talk and to squish people's jumpers and stroke sleeves and it's been lovely, really nice. Busy, we haven't we bought packed lunch as you saw this morning but haven't eaten it and haven't even taken it out of the oh i did i scoffed half a sandwich on the way to the toilet so that was nice but other than that we haven't oh we had a brownie didn't we she had a brownie and that was lovely but i will tomorrow i'll show round i'll show you around the show um yeah do a little bit of shopping maybe we will see no, no, I want to get something for our patrons. Yeah. I'm going to buy something for our patrons from the show and do a little giveaway over there. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. So that's it. I don't know. I'm out of words, really. <laughs> We're ready to um, go into a quiet room and have some solitary silence. <laughs> but it's been lovely, and I've met I've met people that I've spoke to online for years and never met in real life. Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful and this little wonderful life. She and I have been friends for years and years from the very beginning of Lay Family Yarn when it was Lakeside Yarn and we met today for the first time and we saw each other up the aisle and we just like ran. <laughs> cleared the um cleared the footpath and just legged it, which was just so lovely and so many people here that watch this have come and said hello and giving me a hug and oh it's just been lovely really really lovely 